All right, so can we get an update on the construction project up at the high school? Sure. Uh, construction project's going a lot slower than we really anticipated or wanted. Uh, it just seemed to be a uh, combination of things that just always seemed to back up on each other. But right now, the entrance doors are being installed right now, so that's good. Um, the canopy is on the tail end of getting completed. All the plaster has been done. Uh, next thing that's got to happen is they got to come back and repaint the, the steel pieces and then put the lights in. So that should be done. Uh, and then there's just a lot of minor uh, fixes and, and changes of stuff. So we're hoping soon, within the next couple of weeks, things will be uh, done. Um, but it seems like we've been saying that for three months now. <laughs> but it's getting closer. Okay. Now, the goal, one of the goals of this was to get the entrance to go through the office, correct? Correct. correct. And that's been uh, the, the door hardware for that was one of the, the latest holdups for whatever reason. It was uh, incorrect when they first brought it out, and it's a custom, custom made pieces. So when they had to um, take it back to the factory, then it had to be recreated again. So that's what's one thing that's been really holding it up. But the doors themselves have been installed, and now they're just working on getting it all um, tightened up and those kinds of things. But it'll be it'll be really nice because the entrance is right there. You can see from from the office all the way out to the walkway, so it's it's going to be really really nice. And we're kind of in an in between time now between the fall sports season and the winter sports season. Um, is there anything you'd like to wrap up about fall sports? I tell you what, you know this is my third fall in Fairbury, and I can't. I can't think of a better fall for any school. I mean, our softball team uh, ended up making it the state tournament and ended up fourth at state. Our volleyball team was really the tail of two halves of the season. You know, the first half, I think they were like uh, three and 12, and the second half, they were 11 and seven. Uh, so a lot of good things happening with volleyball. Um, cross country had a great season. We had uh, one boy make it to state, and we had our team of girls make it to state, which was mostly underclassmen, so they'll be back next year. Emily Berkeley wrapped up a, a great uh, career of cross country, so that was nice to see. Um, the football team had a great season, disappointing end. I always hate to see the season end the way it did, um, but uh, the guys had worked really hard had a lot of success and it was a lot of fun to watch them play. Um, so the fall sports season and our girls golf, um, they made, you know, they think came in fourth at districts, but they had a good season as they well. They won their home invite too. Yeah, they won the home invite. So all in all, the fall sports was just outstanding. It was a lot of fun. It always helps create the positive vibe going on at school. So that's, that's good. Do you think the uh, successes of the fall sports will transfer over into winter? You know, I think it's going to transfer pretty well. I think our girls' basketball team is going to be really strong this year. Um, still kind of young, but uh, I think they're going to be uh, even more competitive than they were at the end of the year last year. Uh, the boys' uh, basketball team ought to be improved. They're still young also. Uh, but they ought to be um, doing pretty good. And then the wrestling's always tough um, and gritty. So... Um, the winter sports ought to be ought to be pretty fun to watch. Um, anything else from elementary or intermediate schools? Um, well, this Friday we've got our kind of celebrating our Veterans Day uh, events at the elementaries. Uh, if you're a veteran and you'd like to eat lunch, uh, you can eat lunch with our uh, Jefferson School students. If you're in interested in that, uh, be sure and um, call the Jefferson School and set up a time you can come anytime between 11 and 1. And then I think uh, Central is having their program uh, in the morning. I forget what time that is. It's either 9 or 10 o'clock um, in the morning, but there's a veterans program there. And then I think we've got our FFA fruit sales going on. So if you're looking for fruit, they've always got great selections, so you want to be sure and hit up an FFA member. Um, our play musical is this weekend, so uh, Little Mermaids. I think our shows are Saturday at 2 and 7, and then Sunday's matinee at uh, 2 o'clock as well. And I also want to say uh, congratulations to Maureen Beck. Uh, she has won the uh, Nebraska Music Education Association's Young Music Teacher uh, Educator Award. 
and she'll be presented with that uh, award in a couple of weeks at their convention. So that's kind of an exciting, exciting news story. So we're proud of her and happy for her.